APC stands for Advanced Process Control. A brief history of APC. Model predictive control was first developed by the Shell Group in 1970. That's 50 years ago. So it is a proven, trusted technology that has been used globally. So what does APC do? It controls multiple inputs using multiple outputs in a process so that you achieve process stability. What does that mean? Let's take the shower, for example. You want to take a shower in the morning and you would like to control the temperature and flow of the water. This is known as the input or control variables. You have two levers, the hot water tap and the cold water tap. And this is known as output or manipulate variables. Let's say you wanted to automatically control the flow and temperature. What would you do? Typically, you would use the hot water to control the temperature and the cold water to control the flow. This can be done by using PID controllers. All you then do is give the PID controller a set point for the flow and temperature. This is also known as a single input and single output controller. Here's a scenario. The flow is on set point, but the temperature of the shower is low. The temperature controller will then open up the hot water tap, but in turn, this will cause the flow to increase. Then the flow controller will close the cold water tap. This would then cause the flow to go down back to its set point, but the temperature goes up. This happens because the flow controller does not know about its impact on the temperature and vice versa, the temperature controller does not know its impact on the flow controller. So these two controllers will continually fight each other. Now, if you had an APC controller, it can take in multiple inputs and multiple outputs, and it knows the relationship between each of these variables. Like the example below, the APC controller knows that opening up the cold water tap would increase the flow but decrease the temperature and opening up the hot water tap would increase the flow and increase the temperature. Because the APC controller knows this relationships, it does three very powerful things. First, it reduces the fighting between the variables, which improves the overall process stability. Because there is a model for these relationships, the APC controller can use these models to predict what is going to happen. This allows the APC controller to act in advance or predictively. If you can reduce process variability, then you can push the plant closer to its limits with confidence that you are not going to violate these, these limits. This allows you to shift the mean and possibly increase the throughput, improve product quality, reduce raw material consumption, and increase the lifespan of plant equipment. This is also known as constraint control. So why use APC? The APC controller operates every five seconds, 24 hours a day, and 365 days a week. It improves process stability and allows you to optimize the process. All you need to do is to make sure that the plant recipe, such as the set points and limits are correctly set. There are APC systems that can deal up to 20 inputs and 20 outputs. It is what you should already have 
to operate your process more stably and more optimally. And everyone in the world has been successfully using ABC for the past 50 years.